Hello and good afternoon all. I decided I'm going to talk about the conflict between Palestine and Israel and what's happened in the last few days. But before I get to that, I'd like to thank all my returning viewers and subscribers. And if you're new to my channel, check out my other videos and see if you like what I do. If you do, uh, think about subscribing. Now to what I think. Palestine screwed up. What they did, taking prisoners, hostages, and all that. All that videos are out of people getting tortured and raped. You're just screwing your own cause, dude. You're giving uh, Israel uh, a pass on whatever they do for a while. As long as Israel don't go super um, psycho, they should, they, they will screw you up. Because no one really saying, can say boo about them closing down the Gaza Strip. And they're just saying, we're doing this for security. We're going to wait till we get everything uh, under control. Then we'll open it up again. And then Syria, they screwed up. If it's true what I heard, that they're trying to attack the northern border of Israel. It may look good because Israel forces are now dealing with Gaza. But... As soon as they take care of Gaza, they're going to go up to Syria and screw you guys up. Iran. You guys are idiots for admitting that they're going to use that $6 billion that was released to help out uh, Hamas and all those guys. I figured um, Israel's going to do a strike against Iran when everything calms down. And Saudi Arabia really don't like Iran, so they will... Kind of blind eye while well, Israel takes out some of them uh, military facilities and all that. Also heard that they're saying weapons are coming from Ukraine. All the weapons we gave them. Here's what I'm thinking about that. One, Russia's picking up some of the weapons and selling it to you. Two, Ukraine are selling some of the weapons to them. Russia's doing it to say, look at Ukraine's doing. They're, um, Making us, they're um, selling weapons to kill the Jews like their predecessors did with Nazi Germany. They're going to bring up the Nazi card and try to say Ukraine is still full of Nazis, like they've been saying. It helps their narrative. Ukraine's going to say, oh no, it's not ours, it's Russia trying to make us look bad. Well, your PR, what happened in the beginning, really screwed us up, screwed you. Uh, optics up. So, yeah, you're, Ukraine, you're going to look bad if it does turn out any of those weapons are from Ukraine. And then I also heard that the Taliban and Al Qaeda is, Taliban, Al Qaeda, ISIS, whatever they are now, are giving equipment that we left behind. If that's true, uh, we're technically arming our enemies again. You'll buy, this is why you don't leave equipment behind. You destroy it. If you can't take it with you, throw some um, thermite grenades into it. Plus with grenades into the tanks. Take that out. Set the ammunition on fire. Stuff like that. It was just a rookie mistake not to destroy that. So, what do you guys think about the... Uh, situation. Are you going to be like Tim Pool think this is going to turn into World War III? I don't. I think this is just gonna it's going to get worse but it's not going to spread all that much. Saudi Arabia wants the want some money and as long as we can try to keep Israel from doing something stupid like using a nuke against Iran or Syria it's going to be over by, I say, January at the latest. And if you made it this far and you like what I do, please hit the like button and subscribe. And as always, be good, have fun, stay safe. Bye-bye.